welcome back everybody if uh, you're new to the channel please subscribe and welcome to you today I wanted to show you the Gaboon shed this morning came out really really nice very very pretty I'm gonna put this in a picture frame it is 30 inches long and put it in a picture frame and hang it up on the wall not sure where. Probably on this side for now until I get all the cages built up and put in here. Um, going back and forth whether or not I want to keep building these. Um, not sure what I want to do yet. If I do build these, I will build it all the way around the whole the whole thing. However, the cost of everything, I can get um, PVC enclosures relatively cheaper. So I'm not sure what I want to do just yet. Um, I still have some enclosures in the basement to bring up yet, get that done. Uh, they're quite large. I got an eight by eight by five high by 36 wide enclosure down there made out of wood that I got to bring up and it will be quite heavy. So it's going to take up some space. Probably going to put it in this corner over here where the vegetables are growing at the moment. So I get them transplanted. Got some broccoli some uh, uh, green beans in here, some broccoli, and uh, squash. And then some more tomatoes I put in, the seeds in there, so that'll go. Then I got a little, little strawberry plant. Then I can get some strawberries. Got a little, little strawberry there. Come on. Then I got a little, uh, little vine plant. And what I'm going to do is have it grow out and put it around the, the whole the whole edge of everything and just make it more of a um, jungle filling in here. Make it make it nice. But the goal is uh, right there I want to put 4x2x2 two two cages um, all the way to the ceiling. So I can put about 5 in that spot all the way to the ceiling. So 5 there, another 5 will make 10. And then move these out, move them down, and then there'll be a, a void. There's always a void in the corners. So I'm probably going to do a custom, maybe a custom enclosure in the corner just to fill that void. Possibly for the mangroves. Uh, it'll be nice and tall for them to, uh, to travel up. They don't need as wide. They need more of a, a taller structure than they do wider. I have uh, that arboreal vision cage in the back there, an older one. Uh, I might put, um, in the future, I might put some squams in or something. I have to get that finished. It's, it's not done inside. I have to put, I need to 3D print some things so I can put some, um, some sticks and stuff up in. That way they can climb up and feel safe up in the top there. Um, and then I got to think about heat for this, uh, for this winter. Right now we are running an electric heater. However, in my rat shed, I'm running propane heat. Now, I don't want this, I want to control the humidity in here. Running propane is going to jack this humidity up way too much. And I want to be able to control that a little bit better. So, there's a diesel heater that I'm thinking about purchasing that should do the trick. It exhausts outside and also pulls fresh air from the outside. So, it should do a lot better uh, than putting moisture in here from the propane. So we'll see. I'm still doing research, trying to figure out what I want to do there. Obviously, there's paint, there's trimming, there's a lot of stuff I got to do just yet on that. Um, I got to get the uh, right here. I got to get another glass for the top of that, so I can put in a put um, another snake in there. Now I have down here. I have it all done. I just got to put some substrate, clean up some. I was cutting holes and putting some heat tape in um, the gaboon. He actually, well, you see in the shed, let's see, he's he's really pretty right now. I got a Govi light in there, or a Govi um, thermometer, so it's keeping my... So we took out the mangrove female. She needed some shed taken off, and she was a bit defensive. She usually is. And my females 
for some reason, are very defensive all the time. Now, she does calm down after a while, but it takes a bit, especially when I don't get her out often. She's not the staple mangrove to get out. But as you can see, she's in her posture, ready to strike. Doesn't like to be touched. So as we move forward here, I'm going to skip a little bit. So she started calming down, and I pulled her a little bit closer so I could start taking the shed off. Now she does strike every once in a while, but she is a lot calmer than what she was. So you can see here that I'm just peeling off the back of the shed off her back. And it's coming off very easily. As you can see, the camera wasn't really picking up what I was taking off, but she was uh, still jumping around a little bit. I was just making sure she wasn't going to bite. And then I was just finishing off the shed. Now there was a little bit still stuck on there. It didn't seem like it was ready to come off, so I left it alone. But she kept jumping back and, and trying to trying to bite me. But she is a lot calmer than what she was. She's not in that defensive posture. Just every once in a while, she's more like, don't touch me, and jumps back and tries to bite. But the shed did have to come off. So it was necessary to get this done. Now that she's all taken care of and, and uh, put back in the enclosure, she calmed right down and she went back to her spot and went to sleep for the rest of the day. Now this was closer to the evening, so she's more active at night. So you can see that she's a lot more active, a little more feisty, defensive, uh, wants to strike. I'm not sure what's going on with the camera here, but uh, he was trying to get close up with just the color and the iridescence of her, because she's very, very pretty. And she's just looking around now. She's getting a little more defensive because she's seeing us again. Open her mouth, wanting to strike. Now, mangroves aren't a typical snake that you're going to be handling all the time. They get real stressed out, and then they'll stop eating for you. So it's something on this particular species that you want to leave in the enclosure and more of a come down and look at them in the evening when they're out and about. You don't really want to get them out unless you have to. It really, really stresses them out. All right, we're going to get her back in the enclosure and let her calm down now. Let's take a look at some cobras. I only got two at the moment. Plan on getting more. Well, let's go over here, grab a hook. Now, I moved the cobras over here. It's more stable heat, especially I can control the heat a little better than in the tub that they were in. And, uh... Honestly, this gives them a little bit more room than that tub, so it gives them a little more space to uh, roam around and check out. Um, I just put these cardboard pieces under there just in case they try to get out. Now we're going to use the hook. We're going to open it up. She is sitting there ready to look at you. Beautiful, beautiful. She is a sunrise. Lavender, het albino, tea positive. Very pretty. Now, second one is a male. Pull this cardboard out. Now I'm going to put stickers. There's going to be, I'm making stickers today. Uh, I'm putting this in, so let's pull this out. Let's see where he's at. See in his. Oh, no, he's underneath. Look at that. This is why you don't put your fingers in here. Look, he's right here. He's crawling underneath. <laughs> he jumped out there. Very pretty. I'm going to get a couple bigger tubs so I can put this in the, in the rack here because I got the one larger one here then two smallers as they go up because these were hatchlings but 
I got a couple of these larger ones coming, so that way I can throw them in here and they get some different uh, snakes in there. But this is what I got. And now we're gonna throw these back in here just to pinch it up there, keep it pinched. All right, that's all nice and tight. And then we can throw in these little tabs so they can't move out. And I got a bunch of those. I just gotta find them. I don't know where they're at at the moment. They're in here somewhere in my box. So I'll grab those, put those in there. I'm gonna go make some venomous stickers, get that put on there. So I'm usually the only one in here anyway, unless I'm showing somebody, but you know. Alright guys, if there's anything else you want to see, let me know. We'll talk to you on the next one.